Let's create a new Python file. And name it Lesson 2. In this Python tutorial, we are going to cover Python variables. Actually, variables are one of the most fundamental concepts in programming. They are not specific to Python. You'll find them almost in every programming language. We use variables to temporarily store data in computer's memory. Here is an example. Let's type age equals 30. When Python interpreter executes this code, it will allocate some memory. Then it will store the number 30 in that memory. And finally, it will attach this age label to that memory location. We can consider it as a box. In that box, we have 30. And the name of the box is age. Let's print the age on the terminal. We learned how to print something in the previous tutorial. Take the print function. This time, we are not going to add the quotations. Why? We are going to see that in a minute. For now, let's run this code. There you go. We can see 30 on the terminal window. Now, let's add the quotations and see what happens. This time, we can see the word age itself. When we write the variable name, it refers to the values stored in that variable. And when we put something in the quotations, it is a string, not a variable. So this is how we define and use variables. We we'll start with an identifier, which is the name of the variable, then an equal sign, and finally, a value. Let's use this variable for once again. This time, assign 20 to it. Now if we print it, in the terminal window we can see it is 20, even though 30 was assigned earlier. Remember, we learned Python executes code line by line. In this line, 30 is being assigned to the variable. However, in the next line, the new value replaces the previous value. That is why we are getting 20 on the terminal window. Now these numbers that we have here are whole numbers. There is no decimal point here. In programming, we call these numbers integers. That means integer is a number without decimal point. We can also use numbers with decimal points. For example, take a variable weight and assign 72.5 to it. In programming, this number with the decimal point is called a floating point number or float in short. I'm using the print function to print this weight. So we have integers, we have floats. Why don't we use a string? Define another variable. Let's call it name and store Nuzaman Faruqi, which is my name, in it. Here it is a string. Strings are always enclosed with quotations printing it on the terminal window. There is another type of values which is called boolean. There are only two boolean values, true and false. They are like yes and no in English language. Here is an example. I am going to define a variable, good programmer. So, we use an underscore to separate multiple words in our variable names. Let's set this to true and print it. We can see true in the terminal window. If we set this to false, we will get false. Now note that 
Python is case sensitive, which means it's sensitive to lowercase and uppercase letters. So when we define variables, we should always use lowercase letters. But here the true and the false are special keywords in the language. So we have to use them the way they are. We can't write false with a lowercase f. Python doesn't understand it. You can see we have a red underline here which indicates an error. Likewise, we cannot use lowercase t because it is undefined to Python. We have covered integers, floats, string, and boolean. But in Python, we can also store complex values. We are going to learn those in another lesson. For the time being, I want you to do a little exercise. Write a program that uses four variables to store product name, price of that product, expiry date, and if there is any discount available for this product. After that, print these values. So, pause the video and spend some time on this exercise. When you're done, come back, continue and see my solution. I believe we have completed the exercise. So this is how I'm going to solve it. First variable, product name. Let's say it is coffee. Now the price is, uh, say, 5 USD. It expires on 1st January 2030. Define another variable, discount available. Set this to true. That means, yes, we can buy this product at a discount price. Now print all of the values of these variables. Run this code. We can see coffee 5.0, 1st of January 2030 and true on the terminal window. So practice using Python variables and I'll see you in the next tutorial.